There's nothing worse than when you're looking online for a transparent PNG and you find the perfect one. And then you drag it onto your desktop and you open it up and you realize it's not transparent at all. They tricked you, you feel like a fool, and you don't have the PNG that you need. Luckily, there is a tool where you can erase an image's background in just a few clicks. It's using the browser-based editor called Kapwing. So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can erase image backgrounds super easily, and then I'm gonna show you guys how you can download as a transparent PNG, and secondly, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add whatever custom background you want behind the image. So you can cut out one image and put it on a different background. So just click the first link in the description, it'll take you to Kapwing, and let's get into it. All right, you guys, so you're gonna click the first link in the description, it will take you to Kapwing, remove image background page um, as you can see here it just tells you how to do it I'm gonna walk you through in this video though so all you're gonna have to do is press the choose an image button and then of course you're gonna want to upload your image so you can do that just by dragging something on to the page or you can go to the left here and use the images tab and then search for one yourself so I will go with pug I want to cut out a pug let's cut out this guy today so once you have your image in here you're going to want to click the erase button on the right if it's grayed out it probably just needs a few moments to upload fully so just wait a couple moments and then it should be ready to click so go ahead and click that so once you do that you'll see a few different options so first you can use the remove background button this will remove um, the background automatically so you can click that um, and remove the background automatically let's give it a shot there you go. So now the background is all gone. I think this one works really well, but not every image is going to work perfectly well, especially if you have an image that's not on like a blank background. If you have something with a lot of texture in the background or a lot of different colors in the background, that can sometimes make this harder. So I'm also gonna show you guys how to use the tools manually. So let's just say that I actually don't want his jean jacket on. I want to remove it. So there's a few things that you can do. So first you can use the erase tool, which is right here, and erase manually. So how to do that, you're just going to drag the slider to be a different size. As you can see, when I drag it all the way to the end, it's quite a larger size. When I drag it to be small, it's quite small. Um, so I'm just gonna drag this and then I can start erasing um, manually what I don't want in the image. Let's say I chop off his ear though, oops. Then what I can do is use the restore button and then restore the image again like so. You will see though that it will also restore the background that it automatically removed. So you might wanna be a little more careful with this and use a smaller brush size and use small little strokes so that you can always undo using the undo button right here if you go way too much. See, I did it right there, I got way too much of the background. Now I can click the undo button. There's also the magic wand feature right here on the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. With the magic wand feature, when you click something on the page, it will do its best to highlight the area of things that look similar to it. So if you highlight that, all you have to do is just highlight an area and move your mouse around while you are clicking the entire time. So just drag it around the screen and it'll start to highlight areas that you drag. You can also change the sensitivity here, but beware of putting the sensitivity too high. It will start to highlight a lot of things very quickly, so I prefer to keep the sensitivity pretty low. Then when you're happy with what you've highlighted, go ahead and click remove pixels, and you can keep doing this several different times, so just keep removing the pixels, and it will start to come together. So yeah, again, there is the erase tool to just erase manually, then there's the restore tool where you can restore everything that you cut out, and then there's the magic wand tool to automatically try and highlight things that you might want to erase. But the remove background tool automatically works generally really, really well if you have a subject that has quite a difference in foreground and background. You should keep in mind that with Kapwing, you only get to remove three image backgrounds for free each month. If you need to do more than three image remove backgrounds, Per month, you're going to need to sign up for Pro, but you are able to do three completely for free. So I hope this does help you. When you're done, go ahead and click the export button in the top right, and then go ahead and click export. And now you can see that this is a PNG file with a transparent background. But let's say that you want to do this, but you want to put it on a different background. So you don't actually want it to be a transparent image. You just want to put this on a different background. All you have to do is upload a, another image. You're gonna size it to the frame that you want. And then it's probably going to appear on top of the original photo because you just threw it on. So what you're gonna have to do is just highlight it. And then you can click the backward button under the layer option and send it behind. 
Now you have this little puppy at the beach. It's a transparent image, so you can move it around wherever you want and the screen. This is really helpful for making things like flyers, memes, or things of the sort. So you can do this with any background image, of course. This is just an example. So when you're done, you can click the export image button again export and now you have the cutout image on a different background and yeah that's about it all right you guys i hope this was helpful make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with other trends and tutorials like this one and i'll see you guys in the next one